hello and welcome to yet another exciting tutorial with magic autocad in this tutorial we are going to be talking about the boolean tool so when you come up here under the solid editing panel you're gonna find the boolean tool subdivided into three or another way you can find it is you come up here to solid and you click then here you're gonna see the boolean tool subdivided into three by the union subtract and intersection so let's get started <clears throat> so as you can see these three objects are one and the same okay they look one and the same and they are separate okay here these are two different objects separate object the green and the yellow so in order to keep to unite these two objects okay we we'll go up to the boolean command then you click on the union then you select the first object and you select the second object then you press enter so you're going to have a union these two objects are going to form a union so if you select on one they're going to be selected okay just like this ones here you select them separately but when you select on one here we've already put them into a union from here you can move okay let's see from here you can move you see that you can move okay you can move them from one place to another let's select again and then move again this way yeah so let's look at the second example let's now go to the subtract command in order to take away one of this object from the other one like now they are separate okay they are separate so in order to take away one you come up here to the subtract then the one that you want to keep in place first of all click on it okay let's say you want to keep this green then you first of all click on the green then you press enter then now you want to take away this yellow one then you click on this yellow one enter and it's gonna go so when it go you will see the path where they were intersected so let's try to orbit and see so here you're gonna see that this path where they were intersected that is where the yellow one left so you can see the yellow scar still there okay now let's bring it back okay we'll go to let's bring it back what if you want to take away this green one you go to subtract you click on subtract then you have to take away this green one so you click on the yellow one enter then you select the second one that you want to take away you click on it then enter then now you're going to see that the green has left okay so as you can see this car the place where it actually left okay from there let's go back to talk about the next tool now let's talk about this last command now we're talking about intersection so for the intersection command the path the path where these two objects intersect is the path that is going to be left okay you'll see that the other parts that are not touching are going to disappear and the intersecting parts are going to be left so let's try and see you go to intersection you click on the first one click on the second one press enter so now you will see that the path that intersected okay the path that intersected is the one that is in place so you are looking for the intersection path so looking critically up here you're going to see that the portion here the portion here that is colored blue is the portion that is left here so let's try it and see again we go back to the origin this time around maybe let's add another object to be three okay now we go to the sphere 
let's click on this sphere and then we come here we come here let's try and draw okay where are we let's try to draw a sphere here okay then now we have something of this nature okay let's click there so now we'll go to the intersect command then let's select the first object the second and the third okay and then enter so now here you're gonna see that this other end the circular end of the sphere the circular part of the sphere has been included here okay so you're gonna see that the circular part of the sphere have been included here okay yeah so this is the part as you see yeah this is the part okay so that is how it works i hope you did enjoy the tutorial please if you did then subscribe to my channel thank you